Hey, what's going on guys and welcome back. Today's video is going to be a very quick one on how the fusion system in Ultra Kaiju Monster Rancher works and how to unlock it because I've had a few DMs and just questions in general of people asking me. And while it's very simple in terms of the unlocking method, I still think it's something that people should know is in fact a thing despite it not being available right away. This will be a very surface level guide as the game's just been out a couple days and the mechanics are extremely complex. So we'll just be exploring the basics here. And if you guys requested an in the comments below maybe we'll do a more advanced guide on the information when it's uncovered anyways fusion can be unlocked by progressing a monster to the c rank in order to do this you must win an official tournament based on your current rank so if you're an e rank you must win e to go up to d and then when you're d you got to go d to get up to c etc so essentially you have to win an official d tournament you'll become a c rank and then you'll unlock this mechanic you'll know it's an official tournament happening because the dude will tell you once you've reached c you'll be met by this person who tells you that the lab is open and now you can access fusion Fusion. Fusions allow you to take stats from one kaiju and fuse it onto another, thus creating a hybrid creature. Once you've been given freedom to choose your own kaiju, there will be two slots to put the kaiju in. And you'll notice on the right side, there will be a table with percentages by which your resulting monster can and will be. This is important if you're expecting to retain a certain base monster or you're looking for a specific form. Donna will also give you tidbits about which fusion she thinks will be a good compatibility and those that aren't. You'll also notice some blacked out combinations, which are simply hybrid forms that you have yet to unlock or see. You can also result in purebreds, which you can see on screen as well. There's some purebred ones. So every monster that fuses doesn't necessarily result in a primary breed and subbreed relationship. Like I said, fusions will inherit certain aspects from each of your monsters. And my advice is to soft reset your game before fusing by saving in the options menu. What I found is that you'll have to progress the week in between attempts for the RNG seed to change. But I could have also just been extremely unlucky with my results because I was trying over and over again to get a different result, but kept ending up with Gamora. Once I progressed the weeks a little bit, that changed. Fusions will contain a main breed, which will affect what the actual monster is, and a subbreed that'll essentially affect its color palette when just talking about visuals. And there is a bunch of these, including even a mochi and plant subbreed, which we found during our latest stream. Anyways, all that being said, I just wanted to make a quick guide discussing how to unlock the mechanic and just sort of touch on it a little bit for newcomers to Monster Rancher, since it can be very overwhelming at first. And you'll find that a lot of mechanics in Monster Rancher in general are extremely complex, especially if you're one of those crazy competitive types. I'm sure that the folks over at Legend Cup, whom, by the way, I will link the website down below, they're kind of like a Monster Rancher wiki on steroids, are diving right into these mechanics. So definitely check out that website because they're constantly updating new Ultra Kaiju Monster Rancher information. So yeah, definitely check them out. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for daily monster taming content. Check out my Twitter, my Discord, and my Patreon. Special thanks to the patrons, especially Jim Hamilton, Drogos, Dark Persona, and Exodus. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace.